So recently Lotad messaged me and he was like, hey, I'm newly finished making a ROM hack. It's Pokemon Emerald Vanilla, uh, but with like a battle change. Uh, will you play it? And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll give it a shot. So today we're playing my editor Lotad's ROM hack. Uh, like I said, it is just vanilla Pokemon Emerald currently, but I believe he plans on adding more stuff. Bro, if my editor starts making ROM hacks, bro, I have infinite content. Infinite. <laughs> I never have to rely on anyone. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, super excited to check this out. Thank you, Lotad, for wanting me to check it out. I believe there will be a download link um, somewhere in the description. I think he's going to put it in his own Discord server. Stuff will be in the description, okay? Don't fret. And oh, look at that, Lotad on the front cover. Just like it should be. Yeah, if you're excited for me to check it out, please leave a like. I think this might just be a one and done video, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm curious what he's done, because like, I don't, I can't really like, like what, what have you done that like other people haven't before, you know? All right, so, oh, oh, is this is how it's, Okay, what the hell are these stars, bro? This is how it is for real, for real. You're gonna make me choose out of these three goats? I'm gonna have to go with the Zigzagoon, man. Wait, what? Wait, wait, you want? Okay, we just don't battle, apparently. Cool. So we get to keep the Zigzagoon. How gracious. How, 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 how brave. All right, these, these, the Zigzagoon. All right, what the hell is going on? So it's, oh, it's Adamant. Okay, I don't know if that's some low tad tinkering or if I just got lucky, but cool. We got a Adamant and Zigzagoon. I would argue the best option out of those three because it has pickup and also it's zigzagoon he's cute can't imagine anybody picking wormpole all right how does this go wait who the fuck is that guy all right we're getting into our first ever battle actually um what the uh okay oh oh okay all right all right um it's playing for me uh <laughs> okay that is interesting it it's an auto battler i guess it, it just does does it just have like the intelligence of like an ai I, like what's my influence here can i like strategically like delete my zigzagoon's moves so it actually uses tackle instead of just spamming growl dude this is like this is the most free content ever i don't have to do anything i just sit here and i can just talk bro can you pa please zigzagoon please use tackle i'm going to start crying do you even know tackle i'm going to assume you do but like it doesn't fucking feel like it please Dude, come on. What the hell? I need answers. I, I need answers. Oh, wait, he finally used Tackle and he gets an Oko. My boy, Zigzagoon. Let's go. So it's an auto battler. Who the hell is this geezer? What can I interest you in? Oh, wait, what? I have to... What? I have to... Wait, you sell newly caught Pokemon. I literally... Okay, I have to buy them? All right, is any... Okay, prices of things appear to be the same. So can we just not buy... Catch Pokemon? Oh my God, that seem That's... Holy... Okay... So you got to manage your money. This is sick though, because it gives you like Pokemon that you typically don't actually get the chance to use. So like, I kind of low-key want to use a Carvana. Let me, let me get that Carvana. Now let's see, has it got low tads? It does not have low tads tampering. It's just a random nature, I would imagine. Um, okay. This is so cool, dude. This is actually genuinely so cool. So this just turns Pokemon into like a completely different game. Come on, tree. Come on. Come on. Yes. Kill the Trico. Kill the Trico. Okay. See, this is where, this is why I got Carvana. It just automatically sends them out. That's so cool. I don't even have to do anything. I literally, literally just, oh, the rough skin. Dude, I'm big brain for that one. I'm big brain for that one. Dude, I'm actually so thoroughly impressed. How has this never been done before? So I was given Pokeballs, but I don't think there's any opportunity for me to use them. So a big part of this game is obviously going to be money management. So like you probably want to save a lot. This has a lot of potential. Like like nuzlocking this would be fun. Like this this actually has a lot of potential. There's no there's no sell option, so you can't sell anything. You got to actually manage your money. That's pretty cool. So then this guy sells some pretty cool stuff. I think all the Lotad said he really wants to change now is like the the prices of stuff because obviously like uh Ralts should probably be a little bit more expensive than like say a Pucciana. But besides that, man, this this looks fucking awesome. I'm really impressed. It genuinely just allows for like the use of like more interesting Pokemon and it's it's a different it's like you're literally playing for like a different reason. I think I'm gonna scoop myself up a Lotad just for just for the culture, you know. He's gentle, just like the real Lotad. All right, youngster Calvin, what have you got, bro? Oh yeah, I completely forgot to change this, but you want to play on battle style set. 
So obviously the you know there's no like do you want to swap Pokemon? You want it to be like a full auto battler. I really want the move deleter because Zigzag and spamming tail whip all the time is really gonna get old. Okay, I'm learning really quickly that this is gonna be hard. My god, I almost lost that battle. <laughs> How much money do I have? 1500 Ooh, I've got enough to buy. I'll get to buy like one more Pokemon. All right, what can I get from here? Yeah, okay. I'll skip for now. I think our team's fine. Doing this as a Nuzlocke though would be super cool. It's just about like balancing things to where it's difficult, but not like impossible. That, that'll that just be trial and error, I imagine, on Lotad's part. And maybe like people playing the game can maybe be like, yeah, uh, this Pokemon's too expensive. This Pokemon's too cheap. This is too expensive. This is too cheap. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of trial and error can probably really refine and perfect this as like a super cool ROM hack. I like this a lot. Why was this guy have an offer? Ooh, nothing. I know this is the exciting place. What do you sell? Yeah, I probably want Slackoth pretty good. Trumish pretty good. I do got to save my money though, because oh, I've got three grand. What the hell? Rich trainers really do buff you in this game. My word. I grab a Slackoth. Mm, I don't know. Trumish pretty, pretty good. But I've already got grass type in low tad. Let's grab a Slackoth, dude. Slacking's always powerful. All right. Underscore spamming growl. Let's go, bro. All right. Underscore got killed. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. Oh, he learned absorb. Nice. New move. A new move that doesn't do well here. God damn it. It's all right. He loves you. Oh, he's using absorb mm, four times resisted i love it let's go mm, yes d's comes in and finishes things up let's go all right so lotad did actually inform me he let me on a, know on a little secret after you rescue the devon guy you get infinite rare candies because apparently grinding sucks uh and lotad wants you know for this version of the game there isn't a level cap um but he probably will implement one so for each gym you can only be a certain level because i mean otherwise you with the infinite rare candy you just put your pokemon to level 100 you win the auto battler that defeats the purpose of it so you know, if I'm going to fight Roxanne, I don't want my Pokemon to be above level 15. That's, that's, you know you want to you want to use level caps and since grinding sucks in this game yeah infinite rare candies is fair but i think uh yeah gotta gotta have a level cap so very excited for i'm very excited for this rom hack to be fleshed out i think i don't think i'll do a full playthrough of this game i think i'll wait for it to be fleshed out a bit more and i think i would like to do like a stream challenge i would love to try an auto, auto battle or nuzlocke when everything's like fleshed out you know because it will really make you think it's a completely new way like he's reinvented how you play pokemon and i absolutely loved it i absolutely love it not loved I love the and we got headbutt now so we're gonna be doing buku damage cool all right give you this infinite fair candy use responsibly <laughs> thanks did he turn it into like a key item oh my god he turned it into a key item low tide your mind you're so smart what a genius bro that's fucking awesome you guys as viewers should like recommend this rom hack to like other pokemon creators be like hey you guys should check out this 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 uh this pokemon emerald rom hack it's it's a vanilla emerald but it's like completely reinvented how you play i don't know if spoiling if it's an auto battler is necessary because lotad was uh keeping a secret of what it was to me he just had it changes how battling works i don't know if people would be interested in doing challenge runs but i think it would be really really cool to to give it a shot it's so cool to me that there's always something that you can do with pokemon there's always some way that you can like change it and like just make it a different game like pokemon has just got infinite possibilities all right we made it out i do think i'm gonna use this infinite rare candy and get my guys up to maybe like level 12 and since I can't use potions in battle, I may as well just use them here, right? There's not going to be much like use for them. So super potion. Nice. Imagine doing a randomizer of this. How would that work? Would it randomize like the uh, the Pokemon that you can buy? Or I'm just thinking of like the endless possibilities now that you can do with this. Because it genuinely just like completely. It, it's like um, it reminds me of like that Bloons Tower Defense where like you kind of just it's kind of just like a management game. It's like really, really cool. Is it Bloons Tower Defense? Am I thinking of the, the right game? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so Roxanne's nose pass is level 50. So that'll be the level cap. Lotad has nature power now and is doing big damage. All right, let's just do the gym now. I don't see why not. I guess Lotad not using absorb is why not. All right, I'm going to save because uh, there are some bugs. Lotad said that like there's a chance that sometimes you just start throwing master balls when he was fighting Tate and Liza, which might just be like a double battle issue, to be honest. So definitely saving before I do double battles. Although I did do one before and it was fine. So all right, come on, boys. Get this dub. Flinchies? Any flinchies? Lotad, please stop. Stop using nature power. Please just use absorb. You have absorb. God damn it, Lotad. That's right. The defense scrolled. We're good. Drop in their defense. Very important. And after they just raised it, get rid of that. Please use absorb, Lotad. You, I know you can do it. Please. <laughs> okay. Lotad, you just you just got to use the four times super effective move. Come on, bro. Come on. Lotad, please. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's one of them down. Four to go. Three to go. Sorry. Come on. One and four. And he uses Astonish. Okay. Decent damage. Come on. Absorb. Let's go. This is going to be harder than I thought. Nose pass isn't four times weak. It's only two times weak. All right. Astonish. Nice. Astonish. 
kill. And there's the absorb for the win. Oh yeah, Lotad evolves. I completely forgot about that. Usually I wouldn't let my Lotad evolve, but this is an auto battler, dude. I'm not, I'm not risking it. I need all the DPS I can get. So let's see how much money I'm rocking out with. 4.9k, not bad. I can buy a decent amount of Pokemon with that. Hello, sir. What do you sell? You have... Some pretty cool Pokemon. I will take... Mm, Abra would be nice, but it's not really going to be good until it evolves because it doesn't learn any moves right now. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't have to worry about grinding it. I've got rare candy, so I can um, I can evolve it after the first gym. All right, that's underscore reach the level cap. I'm going to swap them out. I think I might need more water types, to be honest. I don't think... Because, uh, I mean, Carvana is a water type, yes, but it doesn't actually have any water type moves. I'm trying to think. I mean, Wingle gets, like, wing water water gun at, like, level one or whatever. Uh, But it is also weak to rock. So I don't know if Wingle is the best choice. I don't know if Meryl gets anything. It might get water gun early enough. So Meryl might actually be a good choice. I believe we can afford it as well. So let's grab Meryl. Thick fat god, fucking damn it. You fat bitch. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, water is special in this gen. And he does learn water gun at level 10. Okay, good. Boy learns rollout as well. You know, not a bad strat. We just need to get lucky with him being locked into rollout and we'll be chilling. I think it would actually be worth our while as well to get Shroomish. I think Slack off might be a little bit uh, useless for now. Its moves are kind of gimmicky. You know, it's got yawn and yeah, focus energy or whatever. I think it's just a bit too gimmicky. It might be much more worth our while when it's a slacking. All right, cool. The whole team is level 15. I don't really know what the level cap rules are. I don't know if you do a team of six to level 15 or you try to copy her levels or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, you can't level over 15. It's cool with me. Let's give it a, let's give it a whirl, man. It's a uh, auto battler uh, versus Roxanne level capped. Uh, we're not doing a Nuzlocke or anything, but we're level capped. So we'll see if the Pokemon I chose are good. I mean, you, if you wanted, you could probably just spam like a team of six Meryl, but then you, oh yeah, you also have to be able to afford a team of six Meryl. So this is, this is interesting for sure. So, um, all right, we're leading Zigzagoon, probably not the best lead. Uh, I probably, it's, that you know i mean i guess it doesn't really matter because like her her pokemon can't set up this would be a bad lead if roxanne's pokemon had like dragon dance swords dance like because zigzagoon's not really going to be doing much here even if it does like get off any sort of like tail whip or head but like it's not going to be doing much it's just here to die basically so this and yeah i don't really know why it does that that's a bit of a bit of a glitch i suppose must be a thing to do with gym leaders but there we go big headbutt big headbutt crit okay did i doubt you zigzagoon i did not doubt you i i fairly read you yeah then it wants to go into meryl smart ai it understands it understands let's go smart ai kill with the water gun then of course geodude comes in please blue just just do your thing bro there you go smart ai the ai is actually youngster level so the ai that we're playing as is actually very very stupid uh but i i don't know if i just got really lucky or if it just knows it's the three primary typings of water fire and grass uh but yeah there you go it just used tail whip on a nose pass when it has perfect excuse to just use water gun i think maybe uh if he uh added uh if he changed like the gym leaders to maybe have teams of six this would be like super sick i don't know if that'd be too ex excessive but i mean yeah super effective water gun from a meryl doesn't really do much damage to be fair meryl's not really the strongest pokemon but yeah i'm pretty i assume i'm assuming that like the gym leaders can also heal yeah they've got citrus berry or an orange berry whatever it is yeah orange berry and and I'm assuming they can also use potions. So obviously I'm still, I've still got five Pokemon alive, uh, but they are, they are just doing their own thing. <laughs> You've used defense scroll now. Maybe, maybe you want to hit, hit him with a rollout. I think rollout would be good here. Okay. Let's just keep water gunning. And then, yep, there's the potion from Roxanne. I don't know how many potions Roxanne has. I think she has two, maybe. So we've got to go through this for a bit. And like, I only have like two, I've got two other Pokemon with super effective moves besides Meryl. Uh, but the, you know, am I actually going to get to use them? I think we've got this battle in the bag, but uh, this would be very interesting, like to Nuzlocke because like Pokemon that you don't want to die very well may die because you've got no control over if they actually perform or not. You know, the only way you could have control is if you could like move, delete or move, relearn, you know, uh, but it seems Meryl is toughing it out, finishing off strong with a rollout. And that is um, Pokemon Emerald Auto Battler. I think uh, doing a trial run up to the first gym is uh, a good enough place to end off. You know, if you guys really like this and you want to see me make more videos on it, be like, sure, let me know. Uh, but like I said, I'm more interested in waiting for Lotad to flash it out a bit more. Uh, you know, like uh, maybe change prices of Pokemon. Uh, and, you know, just like, just like make it like a really, really solid like because it's already really solid as it is, but just, you know, any bug fixes he has to do, just fix, just, just flash the game out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. All right, so. Whoopee! Hi, Mario. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> I decided we would call and talk to Lotad about the game he just made because throughout other series of mine, you'll I'll, I'll occasionally put up like text messages between me and the ROM hacker, and it's just it's really cool to just actually get that direct connection and like answer ask some questions. Uh, I mean, I honestly personally just wanted to know what inspired you to make an auto battler. Uh, like where where did like I'm, I'm surprised that nobody else has done this before. Like, why did you decide to do it? So I got the idea recently because uh, I had been looking into ROM hacking. I've been looking into coding in general. I'm going to mm -hmm. be starting that soon. Oh, like yeah, actually yeah. learning it. Yeah. I was just like, would I be able to do that? And then I just kind of played around and I somehow made it work. It was actually an accident. Or it wasn't an accident, but it was like, it was a miracle that I got the auto battling thing to work. Because the way it functions is I just made it so anytime a battle would start, it would load the script for partner Pokemon. Yeah. So, so like, for example, when you fight Maxi at the space station. Yeah, yeah. It takes Steven's code there. Yeah. And just implements it anytime any battle would start. Yeah. So technically, you don't even actually battle and like it's it's like no it's it's basically yeah. a partner is using your pokemon yeah which is uh, honestly i didn't even think about that i was i was wondering how because when you told me about it you were like oh i changed how battling works and i was just like how <laughs> what yeah. the hell like has anyone actually done that before um, i don't know how long have you been working on it actually because like i don't i didn't hear about this until you were basically nearly done with it uh i can pull up so i got the idea october 1st so oh it took my, like a week and a half oh my god what you did all that in like a week and a half. I literally got the auto battling part to work that day. I spent the rest of the time actually adding the merchants for every route. That's cr that's crazy. Okay, fair enough. Um, I had to write the script for that for each route for each Pokemon. It was a lot. What have you done. been like? What I, I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll personally just ask you like what tools you've been using because I'm curious. Um, like, ah, dude. Uh, I've been using the Pokemon Emerald decomps. Uh, it, I think if you Google Pokemon Emerald decomps. The Poker Community page will show up. That's a great resource. Right, and you've been using, um, you've been just coding. Yes, That's... it's a, it's, it's very different from binary hacking. It's not like you use programs to just be like add Pokemon, change these. You like actually have the source code of Pokemon Emerald that you're changing that's that's so cool i didn't even honestly i mean i i don't know what i expected uh like all these rom hacks are like leveling up and i'm, I'm assuming they they do the same thing i don't i i don't know why i expected mm -hmm. rom hackers to be using these like really limited programs um but i, I think mainly what i'm excited for because i mean you made this so fast like what are you planning on adding like you said i think you were gonna add like different prices for different pokemon yeah so that's like a pretty big issue currently with the build because um so I did a Nuzlocke. I unfortunately lost in the Elite Four. Oh, okay. Um, but one of the things that was super fun at the start, but stopped being a problem around like when I fought the fifth gym was money. Because like at the start, I was just buying everything. And it's like, I ended up having like only a couple hundred bucks before Roxanne. So I actually had to grind money to buy a Shroomish. Yeah. That would destroy her. Mm-hmm. So that was super fun, but then later on you just have like fifty thousand. It's like every Pokemon costs a thousand, so how are you ever gonna run out? Yeah, exactly. And Pokemon like Abra should definitely be worth more than like a Puchiana. So, I mean, yes. it's it's just about like finding like balancing any game is gonna be hard. It's just about finding like a nice balance that isn't too harsh, but is also you know I think it'll just mm -hmm. come with like if if like people from my community play the game, uh, it'll just come with like trial and error to be honest but yeah no I'm, yeah, it's gonna need a ton of playtesting yeah exactly and you said you wanted to do uh like a move deleter move reminder as well yeah. like cost money because like i mean you could literally get a zigzagoon delete all of its moves so it only knows headbutt and then it's just a machine yeah exactly i think i want to add that to like the party screen so when you like select the pokemon where it's like summary item etc i'm just gonna have like delete move and it's probably gonna cost like five thousand yeah it's very powerful it is a very powerful thing yeah, absolutely um this will be super cool to like stream like once it's all like more like fleshed out and like like streaming like a nuzlocke of this is like a pretty cool and an interesting it's just a completely different way to play pokemon and uh, i think it's i think it's awesome uh like what else do you plan on adding uh so i think one of the most important things is i want to add different pokemon for the routes because vanilla emerald as i found out making this has 
super terrible encounters really yeah uh specifically the water routes i never really thought about how bad they were but i have a list of each encounter here i'm just gonna show it to you this so like there's so many repeat route encounters and i kind of want to change all of that i think i want to cap it so like you can only find like our pokemon can only reappear three times yeah i mean you're the genius you you like I'm assuming you've played like other auto battlers or something that inspired you to do it. Like I played Super Auto Pets. Super Auto one. Pets. Oh my god! Yeah. I, how did I not think of that? Yeah, Super Auto Pets is mad fun. So actually, kind of insane that um you've managed to turn Pokemon into an auto battler. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm really excited for like what you're like, you're learning how to code, and that's you're doing like Pokemon with like I I just it's like you got it like its own language, or are you just using like actual coding languages? I'm pr okay, so I'm not super sure but i think pokemon emerald decomps uses a new coding language that poke community made right. called pori script mm -hmm. i think it's based off uh, c though like right, c plus plus right 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 um, okay but i'm yeah. gonna be learning python which yeah. is a different language yeah there's so many like languages i've always been tempted to learn how to code event eventually one day when um mm. I'll, I'll, I'll but yeah like, <laughs> like i remember my roommate richie he's always said that like i think he's been wanting to do it but he said that like rom hacking for Pokemon's kind of got their own language, and I was kind of amazed at that. That that you can like make your own language for like a, a Pokemon. Like it's just weird that that's a thing. But yeah, I don't understand that shit. I got very lucky that I got this working. Yeah, no, this is super cool though, uh, and I'm looking forward to whatever updates you decide to add. Obviously, let me know because I, I do want. I think this would be a good stream series to do. Um, whenever it's got a little bit more, like I probably I just think I want like the prices of the Pokemon, and then <laughs> mm -hmm. I maybe do a stream Nuzlocke. Uh, and your your first try, you got to like the Elite Four, so it's like not like infinitely hard or anything, right? I actually got to Drake's last Pokemon. Wow, it's very unfortunate. How like what was it that like that you lost? Was it just because you only have six pokemon and you can't really constantly add more yeah that was a big issue but i think the main thing that really fucked me is uh i taught my salamence rock tomb because i was like oh that's gonna be good against the uh, glacia yeah just like in case he ever gets sent out he can still like deal some damage yeah but so, so i was playing with shift mode because i think i think that's the best yeah i misread uh, your message i assumed set because set is better in every other circumstance but yeah shift mode is better yeah this. yeah yeah Especially for Nuzlocke, so otherwise you just like throwing your Pokemon against the wall and they die. Yeah, no, there's no but, like, actual uh, control from you. Yeah, but uh, but I beat Celio, and then it was like, do you want to switch? And it's just like, yeah, because I, I kill it with my Gyarados using Hyper Beam. So it's just like, yeah, I want to switch out. Don't have to recharge. And then it sent in my Salamence because it saw Rock Team was super effective. <laughs> and then it just got Ice Beamed and died. So <laughs> Actual forehead moment. Uh, but yeah, no, that's, uh, I think that's everything I really wanted to ask. Um, uh, you said that you could maybe do like a randomizer option in the future, which, you know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, randomizers, like, well, it's, it would just be randomized. You maybe randomize like the Pokemon you can obtain, but like randomizing the opponent's Pokemon is probably not the best. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a list of like things to do if you want me to read off of that. Yes. So I want to let you forget moves for a price and party menu. We already talked about that. Infinite TMs. That's just like, oh, well, actually, I kind of like them being limited. Yeah, because it kind of adds to the moves resource. are so important. Yeah. 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 So no infinite TMs for you. Fuck you. <laughs> I just decided here. <laughs> um, I want to add level caps, obviously. So I'm going to make it so I think the way I'm going to make it is uh, you can't enter like gym leader battles with a Pokemon above the level cap. So you can still level up mid battle and it'll be fine. You can't bring anything in that's over leveled. Yeah. That's kind of how Nuzlocke's already work with level yeah. caps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then on, uh, also I'm going to add a new key item, which is going to be like a level cap checker. So anytime you can just open that up and it'll be like the next level cap is 30. Oh, OK, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to add a pocket PC, which is oh, uh, Pokevile. No, pocket PC. It's a... Oh, right. So you can actually, like, swap Pokemon. Oh, right. So, like, okay. Just, like, Sword and Shield. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a play on the word pocket pussy, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate it. And then I want to re-sprite the main character to be a youngster. I think that'd be just goofy. Yeah, that would be sick. That would be sick. And then this one's, like, so not important. It's going to be very late. But I want to do a story rewrite where it's, like, you are a youngster. You're not brendan moving in you're a youngster you grow up in oldale and then it's like you're 10 years old now you can go pick up your first pokemon and it's like bert is like oh i don't have any pokemon because he's like oh you're an, you're a 
NPC. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You're kind of yucky. Yeah. yeah. You can have this detritus, this uh, zigzagoon. Yeah, no, that'd be sick. I would absolutely love that. That'd be that'd be awesome. Um, all yeah. these sound perfect. That's everything. Yeah, pretty much. I want more Pokemon variety also is on there, but we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. I guess the only other thing, other other thing would be like just taking, just, just taking like all the mon, like every single Pokemon ever in existence and putting it in the game, but too much variety. I don't know if I want to do that because I think that also the way that works is you also bring in new mechanics oh yeah absolutely that's so fair. i don't want to do that oh it's absolutely fair yeah, i like no. it being gen 3 yeah yeah absolutely fair that was yeah i didn't think about that uh but yeah that's cool that is pokemon what are you calling it pokemon emerald auto battler i've, I've been calling it super auto pokemon emerald super auto pokemon emerald that is super auto pokemon emerald um, or sape excited. for short what sape for short sape sape <laughs> okay well, that is super auto Pokemon Emerald. I'm actually super excited to see where this goes. So thank you again for sharing. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to download this game for yourself, Lotad, how do you do it? You go to my Discord server. There should be a link in the description. Yes, there will be. Uh, you can also go to my Twitch page and do exclamation point Discord and you'll get the link mm -hmm. in case anything ever happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll be in the announcements channel and it'll be pinned there. Just apply the patch to a clean Pokemon Emerald and you're good to go. Yeah, easy enough. Uh, and if you don't know how to patch Emerald ROMs, Google. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> there, I, I I actually counted yesterday. I think there's 1.2 million tutorials on how to do that. So you there, should be good. There are there are a lot of tutorials. So download the game, give it a try, let us know your thoughts, and uh, give Lotad any feedback on his server. Um, thank you so much for watching. We'll see follow you me on Twitch later. too. Oh, on his Twitch too. Yes, Twitch. Yeah, yeah, follow me. Follow me. Forward slash Lotad underscore underscore underscore. And subscribe to me. And subscribe to Lotad. And on. gift 100 subs. And also buy his new merch that's coming out on the 18th of October. Yes, and use my Skittles uh, creator code. <laughs> uh, code underscore 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 for 34% off your next packet of Skittles. And um, like the video. I'm super honored uh, that Lotad let me try this on my channel. Appreciate the exclusive, brother. Uh, and yeah, like I said, the download link should be in the description. If it's not, there will be a written paragraph as to why it's not. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. And uh, big love to Lotad for letting me play this again. Appreciate it, bro. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So how much you want to bet Telepack is going to kill me? Watch, I can get that cat. <laughs>